So there's something very, very peaceful about hugging trees. You can literally feel them swaying when the wind is blowing in the tall canopy right up there. Even when I'm standing here, I can see, I can feel the roots slightly easing just to be able to take the sway of the tree above. And this is where I find peace and tranquility. I call this my cathedral. And this is where I can smell the pure oxygen. I can feel the pulse of the wood here, absolutely powering out its healing absolutely healing oxygen and I only have to inhale and pause and I am reassured. We're just going to go for a little walk in the woods here. I often sit on this lovely tussock with my doggies. Again, take off your boots. I know it's a bit chilly now but take off your boots, touch the gorgeous earth it's called earthing. There's an actual, actual skill to this. Something that we forget about and absolutely need to do. Uh, you can smell the earth growing beneath your feet. This is a lovely fern moss. And what it's doing is it's sucking the carbon dioxide, all the poisons in the air, absorbing it actually consuming it as its food and then exuding clean oxygen. So what happens in the wood, you've got the canopy above photosynthesizing, sucking in carbon dioxide, transferring it into energy and then blasting out this beautiful clean oxygen. I would love to have a pair of goggles which were not infrared but infragreen just to see these green haze all around. I'm sure it is there and even when we're pushing through the pushing through the air you know like some of the phosphorescent um, films you see on the ocean when the coral reef is um, blooming I bet you there would be green vapors all around us so when you're in the woods you've got this sort of drop down gorgeous oxygen coming down into your lungs and then you've got the vapors from the forest floor coming up so it's this incredible green corridor of pure oxygen and that's what we need to surround and absolutely absorb and inhale all the time. So we're going to go for a little walkie. I pretty much know these woods like the back of my hand. I come through here throughout the seasons. A lot of these spruce here, I wait until in the winter time the trees actually drop their canopy, their branches. They jettison any of their weak branches to prepare themselves for winter and that's what I harvest. I'll show you. For my Christmas wreaths and there's this incredible smell of pine. It's not surprising that we are so called and drawn to this smell of pine. It's in our shampoos, it's in our air fresheners, it's all around us and this vapour absolutely stimulates calmness in our brains. So at winter time we create a circle, I sound like the Lion King, but a circle of life a green living wreath on the front door which brings in all the life and protects our home when obviously nature is banking down for winter. Um, and so this is my spruce for my Christmas wreaths, that's in the winter time. Here we can see all the lovely moss. Moss is the most gorgeous thing to use, obviously very carefully, not too much of it, but it's beautiful because I often line the wreaths with the moss so you get this wonderful secret garden tunnel in the moss and then just a little bit along here try and find some for you yes here we are so you know when you're eating a corn on the cob and certainly in the cartoons you see all them going like this so squirrels do exactly the same thing with pine cones so you've got your pine cone and then you've got your chomped pine cone. Don't you think that's brilliant? So they've just got very efficient. And what you'll find when you see, look at this. 
when you see squirrels eating their pine cone, they turn their back. Very rude. But what's happening is their fantastically bushy tail is super, super sensitive to movements in air. So what they're doing is very quickly eating their pine cone, keeping it close to their chest, like holding onto a rugby ball, but they can hear any movement and they can sense the movement coming towards you. So that if they're under attack, probably from one of their squirrel mates nicking one of their pine cones, they can make a dash for it without having to look around all the time. Brilliant, isn't it? Squirrel snacks. <laughs>